In this video, we're going to talk about how much food that you'd have to eat to get your vitamin D requirements. Now, vitamin D is, from my viewpoint, one of the most important fat-soluble vitamins out there, uh, not just for your bone health and, and calcium absorption, but for your immune system, for inflammation, uh, how it, it actually controls your immune system. Um, but here's the thing. There are many things that deplete your vitamin D that go beyond just not getting enough from your food or not getting enough from the sun. Um, and I did a video on this recently. Um, the receptor for vitamin D, called the vitamin D receptor, um, actually gets blocked from microbes, okay? Certain viruses and certain bacteria. It's very, very common. So they have a strategy to block your absorption of vitamin D so they can survive because somehow they know that vitamin D uh, is essential for your own immune system. So if they can cut down that immune defense, uh, they can actually survive better. Also, there's certain genetic defects that a lot of people have in just simply the absorption of vitamin D. Uh, I've done some videos on that. I'll put those links down below. Uh, stress will deplete your vitamin D. Consuming too many refined carbs and sugar will deplete your vitamin D. Not to mention having insulin resistance, which most of the population has, will decrease your ability to absorb vitamin D. Also, not getting enough sun will do it. The older you get, the less vitamin D you can absorb. The darker your skin, the less conversion you're gonna have on the skin with vitamin D from the sun. So you need more sun to get a certain level of vitamin D. So as you can see, there's a lot of barriers to getting vitamin D that go beyond just the diet. Now, if you look up the RDAs for vitamin D, it says 400 to 800 international units, okay? Well, that's 10 to 20 micrograms. I believe those numbers are way, way too low, especially if we factor in all these things right here. I think it should be at a bare minimum 5,000 IUs per day, okay? And that's at a minimum. If you have health conditions or symptoms, you need a lot more, probably 10,000 or even 20,000 IUs a day. That's just my opinion. All right, let's talk about the foods. Salmon, four ounces, only has 511 international units. Okay, so maybe that might fit you into the bare minimum according to the USDA, but from my viewpoint, that would not be enough. Sardines, three ounces, give you 175 IUs. One egg, 43 IUs. And these are the foods that are supposedly high in vitamin D. Tuna, four ounces, 93 IUs. And you can just do that math yourself and multiply the quantity you would need to really get this up to where you need to be. You'd have to consume a lot of food. Milk, uh, which I'm not recommending, but milk, four ounces from a cow, has 62 IUs of vitamin D. Mushrooms, shiitake, one half cup, has 20 IUs of vitamin D. Not very much. Cod liver oil has the most. One tablespoon has 1,360 IUs of vitamin D. So as you can see, these are the foods that are high in vitamin D, so it's virtually impossible or very, very difficult to achieve consuming a diet. Now, maybe if you do eight ounces of salmon every single day, you'll, you'll get there. But if you don't have salmon and you're not having cod liver oil, it's very difficult to even get the bare minimum of vitamin D. The absolute best way to get vitamin D is from the sun. The key with getting vitamin D from your sun is getting enough exposure and getting a moderate amount of sun so you're not burning your skin, okay? Um, that's important. But also realize that Vitamin D is fat soluble, so it does get stored in your body and you wouldn't necessarily need to get sun every single day. But if you get it several times a week, that would be really good. In the winter months, I recommend that you supplement with vitamin D, but also always make sure you take vitamin K2 with D3, simply because if you take only D3, you could uh, over time deplete vitamin K2. As far as the amount ratios, for every 10,000, I use a vitamin D3, you would need 100 micrograms of K2. That would be the ratios that I would recommend. So there's a lot to know about vitamin D. It's a very important nutrient. I put some important videos on vitamin D on this page right here. Check them out.